What's going on guys? It's me Pavin. And if you guys are looking to improve your Madden game and want to learn firsthand from someone who's made deep runs in the Madden $750,000 club championship tournament, I'm your guy. I recently just dropped my New York Jets offensive ebook and alongside that is my game plan for additional $10. So my offensive ebook is $20, game plan 30, game plan you get a couple defensive setups and I will be updating both these ebooks, both these game plans as the year goes on. Really great offer. The link will be down in the description. Go check it out, 818madden.com. I know this will make you a better Madden player. Final four action underway. It is Pavin taking on Mr. Football for a spot. The finals and a chance at $1,000. Nick Mazesco, Boogs with you. Boogs, what you doing in the chat? Boogs, can I talk to you for a second? Boogs, we were just on the same page. Oh, yeah. What you doing? <laughs> you know, I, I just want to, you know, because I feel like nobody's going to take the time out to acknowledge my man's JMH TV, to acknowledge his <laughs> brilliance and the fact that he is, you know, right on the money with what his, his take is. Like, it, he's right on the money. One step oh. ahead should be one AP. It is great mm -hmm. for the game. It's great for competitive. Mm -hmm. I should be able to come out here, have five one step aheads on the field, put the controller down, and just let them boys work. Here you. I mean, I'm a book to you. When you say it like that, when you explain it like that, I really feel like you help me see the light. Because at the end of the day, like, yo, how else am I gonna compete? You guys are all better at Madden than me. But now, if I can just put my controller down, that's one half the ball. I don't even have to <laughs> practice anymore. Talk to me. I mean, oh, ready, not. ready, ready? MCS belt winner, Nick Mazesco. Who doesn't want to see that? All right, chat, exactly. who doesn't want to see that? Mm, just disappointing. Disappointing that EA isn't looking out for the bad players like me. <laughs> Man, yeah, come on, man. EA. What do you want? You're, <laughs> you want your star players being featured so you can build them as stars and showcase the best players in the game? <laughs> Does the NBA showcase LeBron exactly. James? <laughs> exactly. JMH, make the tweet. I'm retweeting it. Make the tweet. Retweet it. Make the tweet. I'm you retweeting it. You got one from me. You got my support. Mm -hmm. uh, by the way, uh, Russell Wilson, uh, if you'll notice at the top, it says semifinals. Shout out to our guy, Crook, with that. Yeah, you'll notice some new changes, man. You'll notice the, that... The, the round update at the top right corner, or I mean, not even right corner, <laughs> at the, the center of, of top center of your screen. And then you also notice at the bottom, well, I don't know if it's going to be popping up now because we're at the final four and we play those games um, pretty much back uh, to it back. It will not be. So, yeah, it will not be. But go back um, and watch it if you missed well, it. Yeah. Like right there, you'll see it. You'll see that ticker right there that you see on the bottom of the screen right now. You'll see those tickers on the bottom to get kind of score updates of all the other games that you're missing. Also, Boogs, I don't know if I told you. You know, I got a new position here with Mudhead, and I got to make some executive decisions. And I've made one. Okay. All right. Next, uh, uh, I'm gonna tentatively say next week. It might be the week after. Let's say the week after. It'll be the start for Q2. We'll have one final mm -hmm. week with it, but the start of Q2, Think for the next week, because you and I are working together next week. Think over the next week, and we are going to put on Twitter a poll, at Mudhead on Twitter, as to what our new notification for subs will be. The Viking horn will be no more. Talk to me now, Nick. Nick, I mean, now you're starting to do your job. I mean, I've been mm -hmm. waiting on you to wake up and do your I job. I haven't been doing this anything for three weeks. Now yeah, I'm You doing haven't it. done a single thing. Now you're no. doing something of value because you've really been useless. Mm -hmm. Oh, he held on to that. Oh, well, I guess it's beyond. Completely. Dude, they've just paid me the nap, no. I think, for three weeks. I haven't done anything. Yeah. I mean, what is going on? Hey, you want to, yeah, hey, you wonder why Pavin was on last week? Because I didn't want you here to yell at me. But now, now I've made the executive decision. And it's really the only decision that matters is that how can we get rid of that Viking one? Yeah. Uh, Packers hey, roll out the barrels. Hey, sports great again. Come on, man. Wrong. Uh, stressed? Wrong. It will not be a Packers themed horn. No. Okay, no. I don't know if Books yeah, cares anymore. See. He's not a Lions fan. Yeah, I'm not a Lions fan at all. So, but it definitely can't be a Vikings horn because that thing is annoying. But I do kind of hate the Packers. I'm not going to lie.
Maybe maybe our new Bottoms sound will defense. just be Detroit ba -ba -ba basketball. <laughs> Most iconic sound in Detroit. Uh, now we now we talking. Now we talking. <clears throat> I want to see Pavin kind of heat uh, Mr. Football up a little bit more. Send, send constant pressure at him. Make him have to get this ball out of his hands really fast. He's looking really comfortable right now, Nick. He's looking real chill back there. Like, yeah. hey, you know, there's nothing going on. You know, he's, he's not really feeling the pressure. Make him pass this ball fast and make quick reads. Shout out to my guy Slammer. He's always looking out for me. We need the dog bark for my brother. We did do a dog bark one week. It was terrifying, would be the answer. I don't think the dog bark is going to make it. I'm just, I got to look out for what's the best for Mudhead. And to make Mudhead the best, we got to keep Boogs happy because I can't lose him. So it might have yeah. to, it might, um, what is the Ram sound? <laughs> what's, what, what sound did the Rams know. make? Yeah, I, see, I haven't, I'm not a, see, I'm a Rams fan, but I'm not a real, a real Rams fan yet. You know, I'm not a real Rams fan until yeah. I sit down and watch a full Rams game. Because I've never watched a full Rams game outside of like a playoff game. Um, that, mm -hmm. So that don't really count. So until I watch a we full could. regular season, not even regular season, I have to watch a pre. You, you're not a real fan of a team if you don't watch a full preseason game. That's true. Preseason, whatever the preseason is in that sport, if you don't watch one of those, like I went to spring training and watched the uh, watch watch the the Indians and the Cubs yesterday. Shows how big of an Indians fan I am. I went to a spring training game. You know how bad baseball yeah. is when no one cares. <laughs> That's it's rough. Yeah. It's bad. Really bad. Uh, we always take a new Cowboys fans. Ooh, hey. No, I'll pass. Hey, dead that, dude. That's, that's like Ball. pass. S switching from one drug to another. Just bad for you. <laughs> that's the bad way to do it. <laughs> Don't do that. It's all bad. Mr. Football stop once again. 6 nothing. The score popping now back on offense. The buck 47 to go. That was big of, of Pavin to be able to hold him to three right there. Now it's it's I'm not sure if he gets the ball at half or not, but he he's gonna have to make sure he can get seven on this drive here. Seven is gonna be super important. Especially if he doesn't get uh, the ball at half. Madden team says lower the Friday night football age for 16, Nick. Okay, I don't have that much power, but I appreciate the thought. And uh Slammer says just hire Carrie Underwood to sing the Friday night football theme song. You know what? Is that in the budget? Can we make that happen? Like, as long as it doesn't take away from me and Boogs getting paid, like, we can, like, like take a couple weeks off from paying the yeah. players if we get Carrie Underwood to sing the Friday Night Football. Yeah, that'd be dope. I'm all for it. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Mm. Blessed. First off, the Lions has three rings. All right? Mm -hmm. Get it right. Three we have NFL three rings. <laughs> get it right. Same thing. Browns, Browns have a couple NFL championships. They got rings. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, picked off balls. Night Train Lane with the interception. Oh, they gave it to him. He got the feet in bounds. Night Train showing off. So Mr. Football might be goaded this week. I mean, I, like I said, um, before we went to break, uh, the last break, I said he was playing defense. Can he can continue that defensive run that he's on right now? And he's so far, he's sustaining it. He's played a, a great first half. Uh, defensively so far it's gonna have to get some sevens on the board but he's playing really good on on, on defense looking over the top might have him Vernon Davis down to the 11 yard line 9 of 11 102 yards and Mr. Football's knocking on the door once again oh yeah he's done <laughs> football's balling right now Mr. Football is really balling he, he's, he's doing his thing offensively and defensively right now He's in the rhythm. So he might have had the corner out. All right. Well, Bugs, let's let me let me talk for one second. I, I just I need to run an idea by you. Like if we Go for let's it. just say we like let's say we don't bring user back, okay? He, he he costs a lot of money. This guy always wants perks. If we don't bring user back, do you mm -hmm. think we could get Khalid to do like a theme song for us, like a little slow jams groove? We get that work? I think we can make that happen. Like, I think it might be worth it. A friend of a friend of a friend's cousin's mm -hmm. brother's baby father uh -huh. is, yeah. rela is related to the lead. Is related to I his dog brother, right? Yeah, okay. Yes. Nice. 
Nice. Well, uh, let me know. I mean, because I'll cut. I'll cut user in a heartbeat. He can't. He's not here, right? He doesn't tune into Friday Night Football. No, he doesn't. He's he's too busy eating steak and lobster. Wow. Right? Oh, never mind. He's, yeah. he's never mind. I, I take it back. I forgot he's supposed to be uh, only eating raw fruits and veggies right now. You think he's sticking oh, to that? Oh, what a play! It's Hill. Wow, Tyreek into the end zone. He's eating raw fruits and veggies, which means he's definitely having a steak yeah. and lobster tonight. The, the man called me crying this morning. Crying, talking about it's, it, it tastes so bad. <laughs> he's drinking smoothies, saying it, it tastes so bad. He's not even well, he's not making like the right smoothie then. Yeah. He's not even making the smoothie right. Like, dude, you're supposed to make well, it so that it buying, tastes good. He's buying frozen, like pre frozen, like just these random oh. things. What? He can't use a blender? <laughs> no, he all he knows how to do is buy the pre frozen, uh. Like it's it's the fruits and veggies are in the little ba the bag and then you just dump it in the blender, so he's just got some oh. some pre um, put together so recipes with who knows what in it. And he's not uh, enjoying uh, it. Oh. He got to grow up. That's what he got to do. Yeah, oh, I'm, I'm not. Listen, as somebody who's been to a juice bar three times in a week, I'm pretty much a veteran at this point. Yeah. <laughs> juice bars is a vibe. They are a vibe. Sniper, <laughs> oh, don't. Here goes Sniper. 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 Actually, sniper, I, I would just... prefer you to eat it in a bowl, though, versus drinking it. Sniper, yo, Sniper. Just eat the L, man. It's okay. Everyone loses every once in a while, and you took two L's tonight. It's fine. There'd be other days. You know, sometimes people got to hold an L, man. Everybody takes an L from every now and then. Even Jordan took losses. Yeah. You know, it might not have been in the he championship, did. but he took some L's. Y'all watch Snowfall? No. Uh, when? No. No. Uh, I keep Trey and, and Clef and all of them keep telling me oh. to catch up. I, I still Jack haven't watched it yet. Jack Gaiman talking, talking some slander in the chat. No, I still haven't watched it yet. I got I to gotta catch up. Um... Cause there's how many they're on season what three four right now? I've heard good things. Jack, you know you enjoyed that. Jack enjoyed it. How how long of a juice cleanse was it? Just a one day juice cleanse? Uh, Jack only did he did like a thirty six hour one. Um, and then Clef was supposed to do the three day with me. And. But he never did anything. He never did even a day. Mm. Um, Trey did 36 hours with Jag, I think. User? Um, user did probably about 12 hours. <laughs> I, was, I thought you were about uh, to say like 15 minutes. He drank one juice when I had a cheeseburger. Like he did, he probably did about 36 hours, but he only drank like Clef one, ate one juice. That out of day? <laughs> yeah, it was bad. User you ended up mailing have... his juices to somebody else. What do you mean I can't have country fried steak? Oh yeah, you're right. Trey did eat at, at midnight. It, it was bad. Jack was the really only one that like stood firm and, and, and kind of like lasted the exact time that he said he was going to do. He, he's the only man of I his mean, word. That's really what, what it came I'm, down to. I'm going to have to document it because if I if I don't document it, it never happened. But I might have Document to do a forty-eight it. hour one just just to beat all these guys who did the thirty-six hour one. I might do a forty-eight hour one. It, honestly, it, it really is not just as bad or as hard as you may think. Sure. Oh, uh, <laughs> what? How did he get out of that most painful day of my life? Is he over? Yo, yo, bugs. Hmm. Is this this guy might be this guy Jag? A little dramatic. Oh, yeah, he's definitely dramatic. One or two days really ain't that bad. I mean, he's playing some. Mr. Football is playing some defense right now. But one or two days really this aren't that bad. This is against Pommet. It's, it's when this you go Pommet. more than two. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, but he's, he's locking Pommet up right now, which is crazy. Yeah. It's when you go more than two when it becomes tough. Because day one, it's easy because you're like that, that excitement, that momentum. You mm -hmm. got that energy boost where you're like, ah, oh, man, this is, you know, you're, you're excited. So it, you you're really getting carried right there by your you know so it, you, it's easy 
second day you're you really just like oh okay well i get to eat tomorrow so i'm good i can fight through this but it's it's when you go more than two days when you get to that second day and you're like oh god i I got another day of this that's when it becomes tough when it's your first time me at this point i can do 21 or more days wow really yeah it's because you because you just get all your calories from the juice that's that's the big thing is your your caloric intake is the juices yeah you're really not getting much um it's just i'm just used to it oh it's calorie deficient but yeah i don't know I, here's the thing i i i i lost a bunch of weight from doing i did the like the intermittent fasting thing so i i would at my peak i was doing 18 hours off and six hours on which i wasn't eating a ton during that six hours but like you just sort of got used to it after a while like i remember like the first couple days of doing like i think it was just eight it was uh it was 12 and 12. And, like i'd wake up and be like like i'd have like four hours i'd have to fast i'd be like oh god i'm so hungry like but like it, mm. by the time i did it for like a couple months it's just like eh, whatever like you just you just like I'll still never understand keto. I saw the best keto TikTok, which was this guy was eating like this guy was sitting at the table eating a bowl of fruit, and the keto guy sitting at the stove, and he goes, he's like, "Wow, you're eating that fruit?" I'm like, yeah. I'm like, God, it's so unhealthy. All those sugars and all that. He's like, "Yeah, it's pretty good though." He's like, "Yeah, but you clearly just don't care about your health." Like, what are you making over there? Fried butter. I might add some bacon to it later. <laughs> 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 you know, TikTok is a funny place. I won't lie. It is. You gotta dodge some some dicey stuff, but it's got some good stuff. No bread, but you can eat six burgers. That's what I'm saying. But that's what my dad used to. My dad lost a bunch of weight. He did the no carb stuff, and it was just like, "Are you hungry? Eat a steak. Have as much steak." But it was a lot of meat, and I was like, "Good lord, how's that cholesterol?" This is a big fourth down for Mr. Football. He picks this up. He I think Mr. Control. Football's thinking about it. He's going to take the penalty. He's thinking, you know what? I'm playing great defense. Um, wow, Luke. I'm playing really? great Did defense you right now. That? Yeah. 30 days, that's hell. Yeah. I mean, it's really it, it really does strengthen your mental. Your mental. Honestly, yeah. it does. Like, it's just a mental challenge. That's all it is. I mean, it's a mental challenge. Yeah. I mean, there's also benefits to it and stuff too. But just from a mental thing standpoint, it's mostly mental. Like, you have to get used to and comfortable with being hungry. Like, you have to be okay with being hungry. Like, it's okay yeah. to have a little hunger. You, you, you'll survive. I mean, this Derrick Henry looks Derrick Henry. just crazy on this uh on this oh. little quick table route where you can just kind of just truck air truck up the field. One of the best. Wow. 2,500 in the bank. Only one of us five that got through. Nice. Look at that. It was Derrick Henry again. That air, truck is, that air he... truck is a little bit different. It's a little different, but what I'm what I'm surprised with this Henry is he's breaking tackles, but he looks quick <laughs> too. Like he's got some breakaway. Yeah, he, I mean, because that, that new Derrick Henry, I believe it's like 97, 98 speed now. Um, he still doesn't have the same route running that you will get from a Kamara or a McCaffrey. But his, mm-hmm. I mean, the value you get from him, from the fact that he's going to fight the air truck, um, as long as he doesn't get manned up, he's unreal. Watson throws that one away. Books think he's tough because he don't eat. <laughs> oh my god! I mean, that takes some mental toughness. Look, think about how many of y'all are thinking to y'all like, "Oh my god, going 21 days without eating, I die." I, I'm not gonna lie, books. We were um, I'm trying to remember where we were talking about it. I want to say. It was on a player's launch broadcast, corner route, got him. It was me and Matster Gamer, and I had this question. Which crew, if you could pick three people from every crew, which Madden crew would last longest slash win a Madden version of Survivor? Mm. It would It would have to be our squad. Have to be. 
it, I got books, eating <laughs> plants, and making, ma putting together food in, in the forest. I feel like a guy like Trey Thomas might be kind of glitchy on the island. I'm not gonna lie. Dude's a fighter. All right. Yeah, Trey's been fighting his whole life. And Clef the God tell me to muscle down some animals and stuff. Yeah, exactly. I know he didn't do the cleanse, have, but I think he might be tough. We have some athletic guys. We have some mentally tough guys. You know, it, you know it, I think we'd be able to make it shake for sure. The question we did ask is which crew would be the worst? I said TNC. <laughs> Listen, I love the TNC guys. <laughs> I, I ain't trusting Fancy or J-Wall or Civil or whoever. <laughs> Salty. Not y'all are making it off. Y'all, y'all are getting to the island, seeing one bug, and being like, "So where's the plan to take us back? We out." They're gonna laugh. Yes. They're gonna laugh and find a glitchy way. Of, uh, <laughs> they're gonna find, find some a glitch. nerdy way to win Survivor. They're like, guys, what we have found is if you yeah. take four steps this way and and climb this tree, you actually see the production trailers, and you can just sleep in one of the RVs. It's like, ah, oh, damn. Yeah, TNC to me comes off like the the nerds that would like, they would come up with uh, a a like a complicated way. They'd like build some complicated trap to like get food, um, and then forget that it took them four days to come up with it, and they hadn't eaten. They'd all pass out. <laughs> Be like, we got it. Oh. <laughs> get dunked on TNC. Watson, the only one who oh, might be tall. Oh, good nice throw. Great playmaker, beautiful throw, Marvin Harris. The only one that might be tough, Blocky might be hell. Yeah. But that dude need a lot of protein. Yeah, yeah we need a lot. Yeah, of and, you know, Blocky has the the block the the boxing skills and all that. He might he might be able to uh -huh. carry the squad a little bit. Um, but the thing is, can he can can he communicate with the rest of his team, with the rest of his his crew to, to make sure that they survive? That's the question. I mean, in fairness. In fairness, we actually did say the worst one would technically be uh, TGL because out of uh, Banks, KMAC, Jaybird, Oreo, and Noah, ain't nobody on there lasting more than about 15 minutes. <laughs> Jaybird would order delivery the first second he got there. So would I. But Jaybird would order delivery the first time he got to the island. Be like, where's the hut? We were talking about it was because it was in. Uh, it was, Jay Bird was in chat with us and he li we literally went, which crew would be the worst? And he went, whatever crew I'm on. It's like, fair enough. Ooh, Penguins might be hell though. Penguins scares me. That's why I said yeah. EMB would be scary got a little because Old Man would terrify me. Yeah. Little Man, Lil man, Lil man would be that fire. guy. Little Man would be that guy that there'd be like some challenge would be like, uh, all right, guys. Uh, this is an endurance challenge. You just have to stand on this uh, on this boulder, and whoever lasts the longest wins. And like the second he said go, little man would pull a bunch of pebbles out of his pocket and start pegging people, just hitting them in the head. You didn't say I couldn't throw at people. <laughs> TGL can't even change a tire. Fact, hard facts. If there's any car based Yo, challenge. That's funny. <laughs> Yo, yeah, that is funny. I mean, honestly, well, Clef can't change a tire either. TNC would be glitchy if they had any challenges that were like puzzle based because I feel like somebody on TNC has got the put like does jigsaw puzzles Mr. Football if he doesn't pick this up this game gets a lot more interesting oh and he, he threw a threw book a pick. he tried he threw a you can't... pick Isaiah Simmons you just can't they try won. to throw it over the over the middle, like in in Madden 20, that would be, would have been the read because you want you want to hit attack 146 up the seams in the middle of the field, and that that typically works in Madden 20. Madden 21, the way that these guys ball hawk, you you're just not getting that ball over uh, Isaiah Simmons. It's just not happening. And there's that bubble screen to Harrison, picks up eight. That lurk was crazy. And Isaiah Simmons is tough. Just like that, Hobbins in the game and can win this game with a touchdown. And he's looking to end it. He's looking to make uh -oh. this the last drive. Oh, uh -oh. oh, I thought he was going to score. I thought he was going to score. So I thought Henry's he's out. He's looking to make this the last drive. <clears throat> so football has two timeouts. I'm curious to see if he's going to use any of those timeouts or if he's just going to let the time tick and play some defense. 
Link to Dawn says, busy sports night. Hard facts each and every Friday. Make sure you're back with us. We're back next Friday. And guess what? It's Bugs and Nick once again. Next Friday night, 8 o'clock Eastern time. We're starting about 7.50. We'll be live with the show. Actually, we'll be live a little earlier next week, about 7.45. Uh, with some fun stuff in the pregame show. So come on next week right here at Twitch.tv slash MudheadTV. Hey, Luke. Ball is burning time outs. Luke, are you Canadian or British? <laughs> if you're spelling tie like that, are you are you Canadian or British? Spell color. Is there a U in color? Third and goal. Got him. Dot. Laser to Sean Watson. Oh, man. How about the fight back? From the four time Raiders club champion, Australian figured it out. Yep, that makes sense. I mean, that was a laser. I, that was a that was a risky throw too, chat. When you throw that pass over the middle of the field, you're just I mean, you're really trusting that the user's just not going to get back to it. I mean, for him to make that throw, that was a that was a gussy throw right there. And look at Wesley just mauling Allen right now early in the game. Sheesh. Wesley. This kid is Wesley, unreal. Gotta... He's just All right, I guess I better run the giveaway food. now because we we might not be over there for too long. <laughs> We're gonna run another giveaway. Uh, any non limited Ultimate Legend must be following, active, and make sure that you have a positive outlook on life and a positive outlook in our chat. Good luck, to everybody. Oh uh, yeah, GG's. He tapped already. All right, then we're definitely running that giveaway. Oh, he threw a pick. <sighs> yeah, might I might not have time to run this giveaway, huh? We might have two during the final. Huh? <laughs> Chad, who you got? No, it's not. A, it's no, it's that. Yeah, that's one of the ones that like in. Yeah, we we spell tire and get tired. The same way. There's no why. Uh, that's also because uh, American English is stupid. That was such a risky throw. Like if that goes in bounds, like you said, that's probably going to get picked. He's letting Potter Andy run Kirk. one four six right now. Well, he does have three Kirk receivers, so it doesn't matter. Kirk and Antcap. Colonel McCullough in the chat. Colonel McClug. Third and ten. Shout out to our guy, Steph. Oh, hey. picked off. GG's. All right, I guess I'll roll it now. Hobbin with the everybody. fight. And we have our final. Uh, man, Mr. Football looked like he was destined to get to a final. Then Pavin turned it on. That's why he's a four-time club champion. That's why he's a belt winner. And who's he going to go up against? Mo Wesley. 